Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at 10 budget handguns that actually work. These are fine handguns right around $350 on average. None of them exceed $400 and these are handguns that I actually own. So let's get to it. When Stoger came out with the STR9, a lot of people took notice and they really liked the price. This is the STR9C with an MSRP of $329. This has a 3.8 inch barrel, a little shorter than the original, and 13 round magazines. Deep cut slide serrations, nice trigger. Breaks right around six pounds with a very short reset, but it has performed great. They now make them optic ready. And with that price, I would say that it's worth it because my experience has proven that the STR9 series is a fine series of handguns, and I like this STR9C. Many shooters wanted CZ to come out with a double stack subcompact 9mm, and they didn't do that, but they did come out with the CZ P10M, and upon its launch, it was selling for right around $400, but they dropped that $100. Now the MSRP is $299. It's a staggered seven stack magazine. It has a little bit of a heavier trigger compared to the other P10 models, looking at about seven pounds, but the reset is very short. A lot of people still love single stacks. They pocket carry them and people feel confident with CZ handguns. And I will say, this is a pretty nice shooting handgun at a budget price now. Nobody saw that coming, but the CZ P10M, it was a letdown for many people, but others really enjoy it. With an MSRP of $199, the kel P17 has proven to be reliable for me. I have put several rounds through this handgun, and 22 long rifle comes with 16 round magazines, 3.8 inch threaded barrel you can see it has a thread cap on there and that you could attach a can to it but it has been very reliable and a lot of fun to shoot i really enjoy this it's the only kel i own it's a hammer fired gun that is pretty nice with that very light trigger pull 16 round mags 199 i think it's a steal for a 22 long rifle that's a ton of fun. Not much you could say with the PSA dagger that hasn't already been said, but I will mention, upon its launch, this was selling for $300, and then they expanded the line, and this one is currently selling for $250. And it takes Glock mags, this is a P mag, 15 rounder, has that hinged trigger there, they call that carry cut, so beveling in the slide. Not a bad trigger, I kind of prefer a little bit lighter goes right around six and a half seven pounds but overall people love the dagger and they they really enjoy what they have done with it kind of took it out of the budget price but the original is right there in the budget price 250 dollars is what psa is selling this for now and i think it's a fine deal when ruger released the security nine a lot of people loved the handgun and they especially loved the price but i have never seen a 380 acp handgun take off like the security 380 it instantly became a, a hit it has an msrp of only 389 dollars you can pick it up a little less than that but it's a hammer fired gun that is consistent with the nine millimeter but they have those slide cuts on there fiber optic front sight serrated black rear sights a very light rack with the integral barrel bushing right there that locks up nice and tight. Nice trigger pull. It's a hammer fire gun with a reset right there. So those who are looking for a soft shooting round with a light rack, not a super subcompact gun, you know, a little bit on the smaller side, but it's easy to shoot, easy to rack, and it's priced right. Not a day goes by where somebody doesn't tell me how much they love their Taurus G3C. And this is the original. They expanded the line with the G3X, the, the carry model with the longer barrel, uh, you name it. But many people that I have found have stuck with the G3C. They like everything about it. They carry it, 12 round magazine, 3.2 inch barrel, has a nice trigger, easy to disassemble. Now the current MSRP on this is $340. However, 
you and I know that you can pick it up for less than that. Some people have been picking it up for two and a quarter. A lot of people loved the G2C. The G3C offered a little nicer trigger and overall a reliable handgun that people feel confident carrying and it remains extremely popular. Just ask any gun store owner. They will tell you they sell a ton of these. When car arms first launched, people said their handguns were too expensive, but then they came out with the value series and the CW9 is one of its most popular models with the three and a half inch barrel. It has seven round magazines. This one has a carbon fiber rubbery feel to it but i've had it for years i've kept it i think that it's a phenomenal shooting handgun double action trigger pull extremely smooth made very rugged and that's one of the things i like about car arms is they are made very strong very well built accurate shooter three dot all steel sights i like the way this feels i like the way it shoots and with a going price right around 330 bucks i think it's a fine deal one of the best deals i think going is the arex delta gen 2. this is the m model with the four inch barrel but i have the x frame on here which is a bit larger it has 18 round magazines but for 369 i think it's a fine deal it has a very nice trigger with a short reset clearly optic ready and the flexibility that it has with the interchangeability with the frames, there's a lot you could do with it. Being that it's optic ready, nice trigger, good overall price, and it's been reliable. And it's a straight shooter. So I like what A-Rex did with this model. I had the Gen 1, now I have the Gen 2, and I'm very pleased with it. The t PX9 Gen 3 models are great. Now this is the higher end model it's called the night stalker offers a ton but the original px9 gen 3 looks like this and it shares many of the same features more of a full-size handgun excellent trigger nice magazine capacity love the trigger actually a lot of people do that's the feedback i've gotten and then they're optic ready and offers a lot for the money you're looking at 340 dollars for a tsis px9 gen 3 and the feedback I've gotten is that it's amazing. I love it. I dig this Night Stalker. I think this one is fine. But this one goes a little bit more. If you have a few extra bucks laying around, go with the Night Stalker. You won't be disappointed. The current MSRP with the Ruger Max 9 is $439. However, if you shop around for it, you can pick this up for right around $300. It has dropped significantly since its original launch. 12 round magazines. They all come out optic ready a tritium fiber optic front sight serrated black rear sight nice trigger pull and it has performed great for me i've i've enjoyed the max 9 a lot of people will pocket carry it you know i've got an optic on there some people prefer not to have an optic you don't have to use it but for 300 bucks if you can get it for that it's out there i think it's a great deal and this handgun offers a lot for the money especially at that price. Let me know what you think about the budget handguns I chose and which ones you feel I missed. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.